Well, I've been tagged by Wilderness Camper 85. Uh, wants to see what my uh, everyday carry is, my EDC. Well, you want to know what I've got in my pockets? Let's have a look. Got my old tin, knife, flashlight. Wallet, snorkel, very handy. I have a boot here, oh yeah. Adjustable spanner, nothing that won't handle. Very good for the boat. Mason jar, very handy. Sorry about that. I could resist a little bit of silliness. Let me do some shout outs here before I go any further. Scouting Free. If you haven't come across his channel yet, go and check it out. It's a very active channel, he's got a lot of material there. Um, and he seems to find time to respond to everybody that uh, drops a comment. I don't know how he tells me he never sleeps, which I'm inclined to believe. But anyway, check him out, Scouting Free, he's operating in Germany. Uh, Joseph Russell has another channel that I follow. He's currently making a knife out of, I believe it's a lawnmower blade. But anyway, interesting project to follow. Check him out if you haven't already. Tim Watson, he's another one of my favourite channels. Makes videos on hiking, does pro product reviews. Um, so check him out if you haven't already. Use the noise there. Handy Camper, another one of my favourites. Gets his kids involved, his family involved with what he's doing. Uh, some nice uh, camping vids. He's into his music too. Sorry, hiking vids. He's into his uh, music too. So he's wor well worth checking out. Another one of my favourites that uh, I'd recommend. Another one is Go Wild Outdoors. And the reason I follow him is he's, he's operating in very similar conditions that I am. He's down in Brazil. So if you want to look at a bushcraft channel where the environment may be a little different to what you're operating in at the moment, uh, check him out. He's got some good content. And of course, last but not least, I'd like to shout out to Wilderness Camper 85. Uh, thanks for tagging me. Um, I do appreciate that. Um, passing on the tag. I would like to tag so Steve and if you haven't checked that fellow's channel out yet you should he's an innovative kind of guy and uh, I believe he's got a video on uh, check out his pill bottle survival kit while we're on the subject but anyway I'm tagging you Steve uh, if you've got time I know he's a busy man to uh, do a, a VR to the it, whichever way you want to approach it the EDC or the, the survival kit following the, the five C's. Um, and I think I would like to tag Joseph Russell on this. And also, let me think about this, there's another one. English Bushcrafter, new channel, um, young lad, could use a bit of encouragement, hasn't got a lot of subscribers yet, so uh, go and check him out, give him a bit of support. So thanks again to Wilderness Camper 85 for the tag, and if you're not familiar with his channel, he's well worth a look, some very good content there does some work with the youth with survival courses and, and uh, bushcraft courses uh, ex-servicemen so I'm honoured indeed to be tagged by that gentleman and as I understood it the, the initial tag was to come up with a simple pocket size survival kit that followed uh, the five C's well, that seems to have morphed a little bit watching other people that have followed the tag into uh, EDC. Well, you know, just what do you carry on you every day? Well, 
let's go with my EDC, my EDC. Guess we'll start with my keys, which has a P52 can opener on it. The finest piece of military hardware ever made. A million and one uses for that. Fantastic. Little non rated carabiner there and um, car keys, nothing too exciting there. We've got an analog watch with a big shiny face, and I can signal with that. So we'll call that communication right there. My belt pouch here. I have an Altoids tin, the contents of which do seem to vary a bit. Currently I've got a little bit of um, Buffalo, K-Pock in there, and a lighter with some Ranger bands on it, you can see, and a pencil sharpener. Most of you that watch my videos, you know that I usually wear this, a um, power cord band, so that would be cordage, my phone, oh, it turns out I've got another lighter, <laughs> not a Swiss Army, not a Victorinox, but um, a little knockoff um, pen knife, <laughs> and usually I carry a lock knife. Pouch is empty because I've lost my lock knife. But anyway, that would be my everyday carry. That would be my EDC. Nothing terribly groundbreaking there. But if you want to talk about a pocket-sized survival kit, let's get into that. 